Hey guys, so I actually just finished recording the footage for my Muppets Most Wanted review and since I had the camera going and everything, I decided to go ahead and just really quickly make a quick video about uh, Robin Williams and all the stuff that we've been hearing about and just, just everything that everyone's been sharing basically. And I've been sharing a lot of stuff like this, like when I have a thought or something happens to me and I want to share what I learned about it. I've been uh, doing like a lot of things like writing on Facebook, um, but I really want to do more videos. Like I want to be able to put it on YouTube and share it with everybody rather than just having people read it on my Facebook page. So I thought, why not? I'll go ahead and uh, just talk to you right now about how I feel about all this. So. Uh, and I want to make more movies like this too, or videos, excuse me, like this, uh, like by putting on my vlog channel and that's what I hope to keep doing and I just gotta do them when they happen basically, rather than just waiting for those things to sit around. And also normally I write these things out, like when I put them on Facebook so they're more organized, but here I'm just kind of more discussing it, so uh, sorry if I start rambling at some point, but uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm already getting a little choked up. Uh, anyway, so most of you know, or else you're under a rock, that uh, Robin Williams passed away yesterday. Today is uh, Tuesday the 12th and um, The Muppets Most Wanted just came out on Blu-ray. Can't wait to watch it later. It's gonna make me really happy. Um, but yesterday, literally I think about 24 hours ago, is when all of this started just blowing up. I remember sitting at my computer editing my video and getting on Facebook for a break and just the news came up and I just remember just being in complete shock. I just, oh, oh my god, no. But I, actually, the first thing that went through my head was, this had better not be a hoax. Or, oh my gosh, this is a hoax. This, this can't be real. Um, and if it turns out it is a hoax, I'm gonna be really pissed. I'm just saying, I think we all will be. But I think at this point, we would have known if it was, and it's definitely not. It is very real. It's very sad, and yeah, honestly, I knew it was big news, but we've heard of people passing away and, you know, people online know about it really quick, but I haven't really seen some, like, a celebrity's death affect this many people online as much as I've seen it with Robin Williams. Um, and I think the reason for that is because my generation, um, you know, everybody uses Facebook, you know, everyone is always connecting and sharing stuff. And for my generation, Robin Williams had a huge, huge impact when I was growing up. You know, he was in, uh, he was in Aladdin. He did a lot of kids' films, uh, and of course, he also did a lot of big films like Good Will Hunting, which he won an Academy Award for, and Patch Adams, and so many. It, the list is endless, basically. But, but bottom line, we all remember him from when we were kids, and. I think it just was really shocking that he's gone, but I think what shocked everybody was that um, it wasn't like a natural cause or a murder or an accident or anything. From what we've been reading, he committed suicide. And from what I read, it sounds like he took some kind of antibiotic and overdosed and that was it basically. And that just shocked me especially because, you know, I've been watching the stuff that he's been doing, which is lately, which has not been that great. You know, he's been, he's had a few bit parts in movies over the last couple of years, and he had a TV show which got canceled after about a year. And I just kept thinking to myself, this guy is going to make a comeback at some point. He's got to. I mean, he's an amazing talent. He's funny. He's hilarious. You know, he's got such a... He just, he does a lot of heartfelt stuff, you know, especially when it was a night. He did lots of whimsical things and he, he can act. He can do so much with his talent and he's going to have a great comeback. Like he's going to do something Academy Award nominee worthy at some point. I just know it. But now that's never going to happen. And it's so sad, you know, not only will we never see him perform again, but just that someone's gone like this, that they felt you know, apparently he was suffering from depression, and it's so sad to me that when someone is just in the mindset that there's just no way out of anything and it's just time to end. And it just bothers me too because I think, I think people who commit suicide, you know, they don't think... They, they, I know this is a horrible saying, but it's, it's just a selfish thing to do in my opinion. 
you know, they're not thinking about the people who really love them. You know, obviously, I don't know everyone who feels they need to commit suicide, but there's so many people in the world who want to just end it, but they're not thinking about the people in their lives, like their parents or their children or their friends and what they're going to go through. And, you know, I, get, I don't know Robin Williams and what his relationship was with his wife, but she expressed right away how sad she was that she had just lost her best friend. And his daughter also expressed her sadness for losing her father, and I'm just, you know, I, of course I'm sad and I, I feel bad for Robin Williams, but again, how could he do that to somebody? I, I don't know, I'm sorry, I know that's selfish of me to think, but it's really, oh gosh, I'm sorry, I just can't, <laughs> anyway, um, so for any of you out there who are thinking the same things, or if any of you have ever had suicidal thoughts, you know, first of all, you know, please think about the people that are around you and, um, there's more to life than committing suicide, than ending it. I'll, I'll talk more about that later, but first I want to stay on this subject. Um, so first of all, just a tribute to Robin, I know I just kind of bashed him a bit, but, um, a tribute to him first is he, he brought so much joy to so many people. And I think in a lot of ways, you know, much like Jim Henson and Disney, he just brought so much um, glee, I think, to a lot of people, just smiles and, you know, bringing emotions out of people, you know, there, it's, it's, it takes a really gifted person to be able to do something like that, and he had it, you know. You know, a lot of people hate the movie Patch Adams, but a lot of people were also moved by that movie, and I think it's thanks to Robin Williams. And of course, he did Aladdin. We all loved him in that movie. And Fern Gully. I loved that movie growing up. He was in Fern Gully, and he was hilarious to me. And of course, I never saw a ton of his stand up, but you know, I know that that's where he got started. And you know, obviously, he was just a very, very funny and gifted person. And it's just so sad to see someone go like that. It just, it wasn't their time, and they decided to take that away from us. Um, so anyway, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm not I'm going off to a pandemic again. Um, but I, I really did adore Robin Williams, and I so badly wanted him to make a comeback, and it really saddens me that he won't have that chance anymore. So I hope that wherever, you know, he is, I hope his soul is at peace now. You know, I'm not a very religious person, I don't really, um, think too hard about whether there's heaven or an afterlife or anything like that, and in my opinion, it's just a, we don't know. And there's not really a huge, you know, not something to worry about right now because right now this is where we are and we'll deal with that when we get, when we cross that bridge, literally. And, um, getting heavy now into me a little bit, when I was growing up, uh, like when I was a preteen, mostly this all evolved into middle, in the middle school area of my life, I went through a period where I had a lot of suicidal thoughts and... I thought a lot of times about killing myself because it mostly boiled down to I was teased a lot in school, I didn't have very many friends, and I know that all came from the fact that I was just a very weird person. I know I always have been. I've, and I don't really categorize myself as like an artsy fartsy person or like a rebel or like a nerd even. even I, I know a lot of people might see me that way but I think that I've always just kind of categorized myself as just someone who just knows what she likes. You know, I don't, I, I love fashion but then I also love Star Wars and the Muppets and anime and I've gone through so many periods of my life where I had so many different kinds of obsessions and um, I think, you know, when I was growing up, a lot of people didn't understand that, and I knew they didn't understand that. And I remember, I don't really remember saying this once, but my mom told me that one time I told her, I know people don't understand me, and they like to make fun of me, but I don't need people to understand me, I just wish they would respect me. And I remember my mom telling me that that really broke her heart, and I'm just, me, in my opinion, I'm just kind of like, wow, that's really prophetic for, like, a little kid to say but apparently I said it, and it's true. It's like, I don't care if people don't understand me, I just want people to respect me, and that's how I feel about everyone. It's just, I respect all people. You know, whether I agree with people or don't, it's just, I just respect people, and whatever they believe, and I just don't believe in violence. Anyway, um, back on track. Um, 
When I was a kid, I was growing up and I was very, I had a lot of suicidal thoughts. And I won't lie, even earlier this year, I'd started having a lot of those thoughts again because of a couple of depressing things I was going through. Not that I did anything, I promise. It was, in fact, it was more like, oh my gosh, I'm having this, these thoughts, it's time to get out of them. And that's how I started, you know, doing more things like expressing my thoughts and that was kind of like an outlet. Um, but it was not a fun thing to go through. I was in therapy for like three years, not just because I was suicidal, but because I just, I was depressed. I had a lot of negative thoughts. And then one day I just kind of realized, you know, I shouldn't care what other people think. I should just be me. And if people don't want, you know, don't want to be around me because I'm me, then they're not worth it. And that's just kind of the attitude that I've always had. I mean, of course, of course you have moments where you have doubts about yourself or like you feel let down by people who don't respect you, but at the end you just get back up and you surround yourself with the people that do care about you. And so bottom line, <laughs> um, I'm very sad that we lost Robin Williams. And a lot of people have been saying how they feel about this and have been saying, hey, if you need a shoulder to cry on, come to me because you shouldn't feel that way. And I feel that same way. I feel like I've been reaching out to my friends and saying, hey, I'm here and I want to be there for you. And I just want to put it out there that if you ever have any suicidal thoughts or you're thinking that whatever situation you're in, first of all, life is so much more worth it than you could ever possibly imagine. There are so many wonderful things to experience and see and people to meet and just things to accomplish. It's not worth ending it if it's not your time. And I think that if you do start having thoughts, you know, you're not, it, it's natural, you're human, but I think it's important to remember to get your thought process out of that and find an outlet that'll get you away from that. You know, for example, write a journal where you write the things that you're grateful for. I do that every day. And it's, it's put me in a much better place as a person, just being grateful for everything that I have. But also surround yourself, of course, with the people who care about you and appreciate you. And if you don't have those people, then go find them. You know, whether it's online or at a club or what, or what church, whatever works for you. But also surround yourself with the things that love you, whether it's your job or something that you really want to do with your life. Or, you know, if you're a nerd like me, go watch something funny or find a franchise that you like or go you know start a new hobby just something that fulfills you because you'll be amazed at how much quicker those thoughts will go away if you just embody yourself with the things that really make you happy and bring you joy because that's the key word I think is joy when we have more joy we're more fulfilled and we want to live life even more and I think it's really important to just remember that and again anytime you have any thoughts of depression or suicide just do everything you can to say, no, those thoughts do not need to be in my head. They need to be in the garbage somewhere and I need to find the people who I care about and talk to. Because I, again, I find the people you care about because you'd be surprised just talking to people who you know care about you and want to listen to you, like just, just talking. Like they don't even need to have the answers, but just talking and expressing yourself like I'm doing right now, it just takes a huge weight off your shoulder. And again, now I know, of course, I'm rambling, like I said I would. But again, just, I feel horrible that, again, that Robin Williams is gone. And I just want to tell all of you out there to please take care of yourself. Please don't let something like this get you down too much. And just reach out to people and please experience your life. Because I learned the hard way that life is worth it and we don't know what's going to happen to us when this life is over you know even if we're reincarnated are we going to remember this past life i have no idea probably not mm. great i'm getting all choked up i should probably stop soon anyway you know please tell me in the comments below if you have any thoughts on this too because i i would love to read them and just please take care of yourself and take care of the people around you. And finally, just please try to be a good person and don't lead people on in a possible direction to having these kind of thoughts. Don't ridicule people. Don't bring people down because you, it is amazing how much just feeling discouraged can just impact you. I feel like there's so many people out there who think, oh, grow up. 
just be called a cut, called you a sissy or a pussy or whatever. It's just, you have no idea how much those things have weight to them. Or excuse me, how much weight those things have. And just please try to be respectful to people. And if anything, try to boost people up. Because if you're being negative and you're bringing people down, you're just adding ugliness to the world. And I, we don't want that. We want to bring goodness to the world. So please use Facebook or even YouTube or whatever you can to please do that like I'm trying to do right now. And please also take a moment to remember Robin Williams and anyone else who you think might have been in that situation, who had to let their life go. And just remember them and celebrate them. And just remember to keep smiling and be grateful that we're alive today and are able to share these things with each other. So thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.